This is the single most important thing that you can do as a marketer. When you do it, you'll make more money. You'll also become a better marketer. More of your projects will make more money. And you'll even start to like sense when something is gonna work. And when it isn't, you'll be able to come up with better, more effective ideas. If you're a marketer, copywriter, or entrepreneur, it applies to you, like no matter which of those roles, but also you should like and subscribe so you can get more content like this delivered to you. I'll tell you what to do after the intro. Hit like and subscribe. These are the proven direct response marketing, copywriting, and entrepreneurship success strategies you can use today to write your own ticket and create the life you want. I am Roy Furr, and this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Now, here's today's breakthrough. All right, for today's episode, I was going to just, uh, I was just gonna tell you you should subscribe to the email updates about Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. It's yet another way you can subscribe besides subscribing here. So uh, I decided that why just tell you to subscribe when I could actually do you one better? If you're not yet subscribed to my emails, go to freescientificadvertising.com. It's the first link in the description. That's freescientificadvertising.com. And you will get a free copy of Scientific Advertising by Claude Hopkins. You will get an ebook, download a PDF, right? You'll also get an audiobook that I recorded for myself because the audiobook didn't exist. And I wanted to be able to listen to this over and over again. This is the foundational book on tested advertising and advertising testing, which is critically important today. I think that this is the best book on internet marketing, even though it was written 100 years ago and obviously has no reference to the internet. It's Scientific Advertising by Claude Hopkins, which you can get for free by clicking the first link in the description or going to free scientific advertising. Dot com. All right, so here's what you do if you wanna make more money as a marketer. Here's what you do. Test more offers. Test more offers. Test more offers. Test more offers. They can be new offers. They can be variations on offers. They can be adapted offers going to different new audiences. They can be different priced offers or offer levels, right? The whole point is test more offers. Offer is like a super broad term. And man, this is one thing that I regret not doing a lot more is just finding more opportunities to test more offers in my client work as well as in building my own business. Now, offer here again is a it's it's a broad broad term. So, testing more offers could be a new promise made on an opt-in page where you're running an ad to an opt-in page to maybe you have a VSL or some other offer like a product offer behind that. But the opt-in page, what you are offering them in exchange for their email address, that's an offer, right? That's offer is a very broad term in the way that I use it. And so if you test a different promise and a different promise, you may test, you know, two, three, four, five, ten, and it could be the tenth one that you test that is the breakthrough. In fact, we'll talk about that in just a minute, right? But what I'm trying to convey to you in this is saying that offer doesn't have to be, okay, I'm going to test different products. I'm going to try, you know, product line A and product line B. I'm going to try all that. Yes, it can be that. It could also be, I'm gonna test five different positionings of my high ticket offer um, versus everything that I do because again, it could be the second or it could be the fifth that works the best. And until an offer has runaway success, you are, you are, you are uh, best served by testing either a different variation of the offer or testing a new offer completely, right? But the whole point here is test more, test more, test more. Um, and it's not just about testing different headlines or testing different prices or testing different um, you know, leads of your copy. Testing brand new positioning for your offer is going to typically have a much bigger impact than any of that. So how does this make you more money? Here's how this makes you more money. Uh, there, what you'll find is that if you do a lot of testing, that marketing testing follows the 80-20 rule, the 80-20 principle, um, which is 
more broadly, um, it, it is the observation that in any given data set, there's going to be a few that make a huge vital difference. And there's going to be many that are trivial. It's the vital few and the trivial many. So maybe 20% of your tests generate 80% of your sales and the other 80% of your tests generate 20%. And it does not have to be 80-20. That's an important point of the 80-20 the rule. But if you knew, if you knew that one out of five of the next five offers that you tested was going to generate 80% of your sales or revenue or profits or whatever you might use as your measurement for this, if you knew that one out of the next five that you tested is going to be responsible for 80% of your success, and the other four in total are going to be representative of 20% of your success, wouldn't you want to test those five as quick as possible to find the one that is generating 80% of your success? And the other thing about the 80-20 rule is if you follow Perry Marshall's work on it in 80-20 sales and marketing and some of his other stuff, um, 80-20 is fractal, meaning even within that top 20%, there's another 80-20 distribution. So uh, the way that the math works out, if I'm remembering right, is 4% is responsible for 56%. Maybe it's, six, no, 4% is responsible for 64% of the results, uh, which, which is saying that 20% of the 20% is responsible for 80% of the 80%. And so 4%, let's see, that's uh, 25 different tests one of those tests is going to be responsible for, let's say, 64% of your profits. So how quickly do you want to get to 25 different tests if you know that that one that you find is gonna be responsible for more than 50% of your success? And so if you wanna find that offer <laughs> that is going to be that you know, earth-shaking offer for you, it requires you to embrace this testing mindset, this testing habit and behavior, this testing practice and process. And what you're looking for is, is you're looking for, you know, whatever hits that sweet spot of, you know, there's the offer is going to be a, uh, a huge influence on, on your success. Also, the copy that you use that talks about that offer is going to be a big influence on your success. The market that you're going after is going to be a big influence on this success. The timing is going to be a big influence on the success. And so if you're testing all of these different things, you are much more likely to end up in finding like, okay, this offer catered to this market at this time is my huge winner, right? And it's about what it's about finding what works. And then once you find something that works about giving yourself that opportunity to scale something, something that works better than everything else. And I'm not saying you shouldn't try to improve offers that you have in the marketplace. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is if you're testing more offers, you're going to end up in situations where this thing by itself has legs that like put it light years ahead of everything else that we're testing. And you cannot necessarily optimize a, a, an offer that's, that's a non-starter into being a successful offer. But if you find a successful offer, you can certainly test and optimize that even more and improve it. Um, and so, uh, what you want to do is you want to test a lot of offers. When you find things that work and work pretty well, you want to prove that they're going to continue to work. Um, so you may have, you may run a small initial test and okay, that works great. Proving is kind of expanding out the audience for it and then you look to scale it. And in the uh, proving and scaling stages, you're much more likely to run into scenarios where it makes sense. Okay, this one works pretty well. This, this may not be a 4% offer, but this may be a 20% offer. Um, this one works pretty well. So I'm gonna do a little bit of optimization and either it's gonna be a really good 20% offer, right? or it's going to become like uh, um, it, it, the 20% the, the offer optimized becomes that 4% offer. Uh, but the whole point here is you need to be testing and testing and testing. And even as you're scaling one offer that worked, keep testing, keep testing. Now, how does this make you a better marketer? Well, in short, the more test results that you see, 
the better of like a sixth sense you get. The more you see different test results and different offers put out in the marketplace and you see, okay, that worked, that didn't, etc. The more you start to internalize those lessons. And that's something you can never get from a book. Like it, it really helps to have your money on the line or at least your pride on the line for um, did this offer work? Did this offer not work? And what can we learn about that? It, because in hindsight, you know, there's there's that saying, uh, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Um, you can see clearly in hindsight what didn't work, what did work, etc. Uh, and so, being able to test a bunch of offers and then at the end say why, like why did that get the result it got, whether it was a winner or a loser, and recognize, oh, well, it was a good offer, but it was actually like a really great promise to this market in this particular moment in time. And you see this a lot, like in anything related to the economy, as the economy goes up and down, timing is huge. And so launching a, hey, you're going to get rich in crypto just by buying Bitcoin, that the timing of that promo is like long gone, right? But there are other promotions that may exist for how to be financially successful in Bitcoin right now, right? And, and so it's about testing offers that are built for this market, for this time, and using great copy to represent that messaging, right? Um, but again, it's about testing, testing, testing. Uh, test copy variations, how you present the offer. Test actual offer variations, like does XYZ work better than ABC? Um, you know, a, a very simple offer variation may be payment plans versus uh, versus a one-time purchase or a subscription or continuity versus a one-time purchase. It could be um, it could be the high ticket done with you coaching offer where you do some training and you also help them implement and give them feedback versus the do-it-yourself offer where you just tell people what they need to do to be successful, right? It could be all sorts of different variations. It could be taking your best knowledge and putting it into a book and trying to get that out to the broadest audience possible versus that same knowledge um, applied in a seminar format where you're actually connecting with people one-on-one -on -one and then maybe having breakout sessions and workshops, etc. right? It's about testing lots of different offer variations and then asking yourself again, what is it about offers that work versus offers that don't work? And then importantly, how can I take that knowledge, that lesson that I learned from that, and apply it to the next offer that I create, the next test that I run. And uh, one of the reasons that I love that book, Scientific Advertising, so much is because um, it is principles-based. And so this whole principle of test more offers is very foundational to success in marketing. And it applied as much 100 years ago when Claude Hopkins was writing scientific advertising as it does today. And it will continue to apply as long as humans are making dis buying decisions on the free market where people are free to make their own buying decisions, right? And so testing more offers is very principle based. And if you want more proven principles for how to be a more effective marketer and advertiser, copywriter, entrepreneur, scientific advertising. I'm giving you a free uh, ebook if you prefer to read. I'm giving you a free audiobook if you prefer to listen. But it's free if you go to freescientificadvertising.com and that will also make sure that you get email updates about upcoming episodes, which by the way, I do every day. I'm Roy Fur. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets and I'll see you again in the next episode. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.